So if you've ever used uh, Aave or Compound, you probably have noticed there's a rather large spread or difference between uh, the rate that you lend at versus the rate that borrowers are paying. And uh, cleverly, Morpho has come up with this, uh, I wanna call it like a middle layer where it matches lenders and borrowers peer to peer. Uh, and the benefit of this is of course, that as a lender, you earn a higher rate. And as a borrower, you borrow at a lower rate. So you have more for compound for compounds, you have more for Aave for Aave, and it's really an access point to compound, which is optimized. And it's optimized because it's going to enable you to be matched peer to peer. So remember you have this compound pool, which provides an APY for lending and a different APY for borrowing. But you can see that here for USDT, for example, you have 3% to lend and 4 to 5% to borrow. So you have a 1.5% spread, which is due to the fact that you have less borrowers than lenders in that market. What Morpho is going to propose is really simply, uh, you're going to lend on Morpho, okay? And Morpho, uh, is going to try to is, is going to put you into the, the lending pool uh, compound, and then when a borrower comes in, well, Morpho is going to take you out of the lending pool in order to match you peer to peer. And by matching you peer to peer, you're just going to agree on a rate where you don't have to share earnings with the rest of the pool. In which case, you're going to earn this 3.7 percent, which is a Pareto improving rate, which means that lenders are going to earn more and borrowers are going to pay less.